And they had to still... We're here. We're back. It's me, Morton, and I am joined by... Exo. Beautiful. Hello. The PvP experts. We, are, we were called in special service yep. just for this match. So uh, it shows that nobody has any idea what's going on. So the players are in the lobby. It's going to be a best of five in the lower bracket between Zane and Roscoe. Mm -hmm. Zane is ready. Roscoe is ready. And we're getting into game number one. Yeah, just, 2000 atmospheres. Just to confirm, both of these players have gotten confirmed top four. And this is uh, battling out for a chance to get the number one spot. Or at guaranteed at least third, right? Yes, top yes. three. And with top three comes 75 Great British pounds. Great British pounds, you say? Yeah. Incredible. So that means Roscoe can't win then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> In the southwest of 2000 atmospheres, in the green, playing Proto, it's Zane. Oh wow, we don't have scroll wheel on. This is no, it does, doesn't it? Oh yeah, no, he uses delete for zoom. Whoa, I have no I idea. I did that as well, but I was like, I'm not gonna press that because that's not gonna work. But it does. Apparently, that, apparently, it's a standard thing. I don't know. Wait, how does he zoom? Delete. Is it not delete? Delete does this. No, oh, the one next to end. Sorry, end. I see. Who's in the top right? <gasps> well, on brand, representing Red Dragons, it is Roscoe. Beautiful. What a, what a smooth transition into the game that I was. know, right? But this is the first few minutes of PvP uh, where nothing happens. <laughs> Ever. I know, actually, we already have something happen. Zane, going out on the map. Ah, uh, is this just a scout timing? Why it's is a very, this, uh, very, very early scout from Zane. He did this versus um, he did this versus Cray in one game, where it was like his scout was just really early. it was like a it was like a gate scout, like a sixteen gate scout. Yeah, which is uncommon. I mean, I say very, very early. I do this as well. Do you? Yeah, although I'm not sure I'd do it against Roscoe. Roscoe isn't really the type of player who's going to cannon run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or do a weird max packs build. He plays. Somewhat standard, or at least his openings are. He, he, yeah, he's got some. He's got some deviance in him, mm. but yeah. Roscoe with the second gateway scout. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you selected the rock, rock as well. Uh, yeah. We're warming up. Rock, rocks get priority over units. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, when you follow, like that, what happened? You had a yeah, probe no, and a rock. Sure. Uh, I don't know why. Interesting. G game is uh, game is crazy. I was going to say something harsh, what but I'm not going to swear. <laughs> Two All stalkers right. and two adepts on the menu. Oh, mate, did you look at the rally point on Zane's gates? Oh, okay. He he had actually pushed them backwards, um, which is where Ross has put a pile on. Ah, and Roscoe has been doing this all weekend. He loves hiding the pile on I, in the main base. It hasn't worked for him yet. Well, yeah. But uh, it's at least the third time so I've seen him do it. Story time. Story time. This is one of the things that, oh yeah, look at that. This is one of those things that um, I suggested he do ages ago, mm. as well as put an off pylon space in the wall. He didn't, he wasn't able to do it, oh, he's found it. So you block the wall with a second pylon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you like stay here. through, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I suggest he do that as, a, not even as a meme, but like he really took it and ran with it. Yeah, he loves it. And I mean, all it has to, like it only has to work Distract, once. Yeah, you yeah. get two adepts in. You can oh. potentially just win the game straight up. These two adepts are going to come in and grab that probe of Zane. Probe in position to block the shade coming in. Yeah. And the adepts will be chased down. The shade away. I like, oh, the Dota body blocking. Look at this. Oh, nicely done by Roscoe. Bruh. Gets the second adept out. He's going to expand himself now. Twilight Show me a Dota tryhard without showing me a Dota tryhard <laughs> right there. Oh my lord. All right. You know what though? I'm going to say something. Go for it. I hate the start for Oscar. Yeah, it's not great. But like, Zane's expansion is so much faster. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like Roscoe's got it's a piece of tech. No. You know? The Twilight Councils are at the same time. The but players are on like, even work accounts, yet Zane's got a much faster expansion. But this is like the inherent risk of opening adepts, right? Mm. If, they, if they don't do anything, you are essentially behind. Because you have to then build stalkers before yeah. you can expand. But now the two adepts and a fake oracle coming in 
hoping for the distraction, but Zane is paying attention, but he's blocked his own ramp with his units, oh! and in come the Adepts into the main base. Oh, the, the Sim City is pretty good here. Oh, and a nice oh, force field. Wow. Sick. That was actually so sick. Wow, and only one Adept, uh, one probe goes down. That, nice that's some down. really good crisis management yep. for, for such an unseen situation. And a hidden oh. dark shrine by Roscoe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Chief. Blink on the way as well. So this yeah. is not Wait, he's by doing any the, means all in. He's doing the build that Zane did to Grey earlier. Oh, well, really? without the adept start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. So Zane did this earlier where he had the twilight counter in his base. He had a decent amount of stalkers, but he just like kind of jig things a little bit. So he had Blink on the way and a dark shrine. And then he walked in and uh, killed the crate. So this actually could be good. I mean, there's no robot on the way yet, right? Can this Roscoe defend it? Wow, and we saw Roscoe do this in his last series. He loves that I cast. He loves the hallucinations. Yeah. Look, there's four hallucinated stalkers already in this army. Saying can't it, push into that. Hallucinated stalkers is, is one of the weirdest anti-micro things, though, <laughs> because you have you have first you have to identify which units are hallucinated, and then. You have to not attack them. Yeah. Because it wastes DPS. That, that was a, that was a Ross Force. Yeah. That's a Ross Force. That must be, right? There is a Robo. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. There is uh, a Robo on the way for Zane, but the DT's are already coming in. Wait, where are they? Oh, yeah. At yeah, the yeah. proxy pylon. This is going to be tight. It's going to be tight. I, I think Zane's in a lot of trouble. All right. I, I've said if this. If the DT's get into the main, I think Roscoe wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've said this before, right? When, and when players are using DTs in this situation, don't be a bitch. <laughs> don't be afraid of there being a... You've fucking got a sender. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, does he see... Oh, he, he sees them! Then sees the DTs! The, is the force going to get there in time? I don't think so! He can, he can block the wall off. Okay, he gets oh the wall my. off up. But there's a DT in the natural. Several probes are going to go down. He should force field. And he does force field. Both DTs Bruh. are trapped. And with recall. the observer on recall. the way... He could recall. That would not I, be a bad shot. I actually shout. think the recall is a good shout here. Okay, the observer's out, both DTs fall. Oh. And now Zane's in an amazing position. He has the third base completed. He's kept almost all of his probes alive. And Ross is in a lot yeah, of trouble. Ross is trying to play tricky this game. He is really trying to trip Zane up, but Zane's showing his pedigree and uh, not not faulting, right? You know? Yeah, it's been very impressive by Zane, looking very comfortable in this game, number one. Here's the best of five, so there's still is there a shield plenty of time to go. The third for Roscoe. Okay, yeah, if this is. shield battery can get up and an immortal can get up, I think he holds. Yeah, I think he does hold. But look yeah, at he's this got as well. Two adepts coming into the natural blink for Zane. We'll be able to save those stalkers. It's going to break down these rocks. Adepts shading into the natural, oh. and there's nothing here for Roscoe. Oh. He's in trouble. There's no recoil energy on this Nexus. Probes are going to start falling. Stalkers still pushing at the third base. Zane can blink on out of there, and these adepts are going to get into the main. Probes, do you oh. find us around? But three, five, five, six. Should be able to get seven, and he will. Oh, pain. And now he finds the Dark Shrine as well, and that tech was not remade, so this is the end of Dark Templar. Oh, the Observer's even going to come in and see the... Oh, oh it's, 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 it's running. Oh, but oh the blink, I'm blink. Pick it off. And this game has just not gone... The way Roscoe would have hoped it has, the DT's finding no damage. His expansion was, of course, later than Zane's as well. And this third base, and now fourth on the way for Zane, much earlier than that of Roscoe. Oh. I don't see any way Roscoe comes back into this unless somehow he can survive till Disruptors. Maybe then there's a dream. But yeah, we are in a situation here where, where Zane is more like is going to have to throw rather than Ross mm. win. And, and from my experience with Roscoe, is that he's not much of a Disruptor man. He much prefers yeah. the Immortals and Chargelets and Archons. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think he's going to go Disruptors. Yeah. I think He has big brain logic. He, if he faces Disruptors with uh, an Immortal Stalker Zella army, he's like, yeah, you just come in from two angles. That is it. That's the big brain play. Two angles beat disruptors, but oh, Zane's going to be tricky. Go into the main here. This yeah, is a good tactic. And there's no recoil energy for Roscoe. And Zane is just going to come in here and pick off so much tech. Artosis pylon goes down. The Robo will fall as well. And G and G. G. Yeah. There it is. It's <laughs> one nil. Tricky. To Zane. tricky. And a pretty comfortable PvP. Yeah, probably. yeah, definitely, definitely. We saw Roscoe trying to take the initiative, trying to switch it up. It didn't quite work out. Yeah, Ross came out swinging, and I really appreciate that he came out swinging. But uh, 
Yeah, Zane, Zane just showing his uh, degree of being able to just hold everything. Not falter in a critical moment and not, like, uh, get really fall apart, basically, right? You know, yeah. the, the Adept could have won the game early on. The Adept, after the initial block of that, the Adept got in in a crisis management situation, but then only got one probe because it was so well handled. GT's got spotted visually. Eye confirmation. Yeah. on the map that was a bit fortunate for Zane uh, definitely because definitely. if, you have if no he no doesn't way. happen to have his army there the DTs get in one into the main one into the natural the observer's uh, not out yeah suddenly it could be a completely different game that is true that that, that is definitely partially luck but you know Zane recognizing it immediately because sometimes when there's only one or two DTs you're like is that an observer for a split second you really have to see it move thing and he reacted very quickly so yeah let's have a look And make sure to go into the game screen. Oh, go on then. We'll, we'll let on. them see the game. Sorry. <laughs> I thought they just wanted to look at us. I, I was paranoid when I was uh, in control of the Steam Deck early mm. for that. I like it though. It's yeah, the Stream Deck is a nice little tool. Stream Decks are really cool. If you want, if you're like, want to be a good streamer, that's mm. uh, it's a one good day. One day I'll be a good streamer. And will you? Okay. Okay. I promise. In the northeast of Glittering Ashes, in the green, playing Protoss, it's Zane. And in the bottom right, representing the Red Dragons, he's got a bit of fire in him, and he's going to try and be tricky and win this this series. It is Roscoe. Well, we are. You're off center. I am off center, aren't I? Control that. If we press backspace, back, oh, that's backspace how you do, how do it. it. That's how you do it. That's how the pros do yeah, it. Yeah, backspace is so good. And it's going to be a double gate opening on the high ground for both players once again, which is to be expected on Glittering Ashes. Yeah, I, I'm, it's interesting, the map decisions here, and it's probably down to Vito's, because Zane is at least happy to do a one gate expand on the low ground. Yeah, yeah. we've seen him do that before. But Ross, I, I am, as I'm aware, is less into that. He doesn't yeah. want to play that. Yeah. Uh, I'm interested to see when we do get to a map like with a map, what mind. Roscoe yeah. is going to do, if he's going to bring out something weird or not. I mean, if Curious Minds and Pride are the vetoed maps, then maybe he won't oh, have to. maybe. Yeah, and Pride, I think, uh, Pride would be a veto. That would make sense. Yeah. Oh, but, but Blackburn as well. Okay, so oh, there is yeah, a third yeah. There's got to be at least map. one, right? Yeah. If, if it goes to game five. So we see Zane with an early probe scout once again. No scout from Roscoe this game. Uh, is there not? No, no scout. Oh, I don't like this, Ross. He's playing like a madman. He's playing like an absolute madman. It's very interesting. He has built a pylon at home, so it's not like he's pretending that there's a proxy out Yeah, Ross is really not playing like himself. So Ross uh, traditionally scouts and but before he gets to his opponent he sent he puts a proxy pylon on the map right it's a fake proxy right it's not mm. generally it's never for anything yeah. it's just so his opponent sees that there's not one at home every game i played against roscoe i scouted this area at the third base because i Did thought you? there'd be a pylon there yeah. and there never was but I there know was a pylon roscoe somewhere thing. there was a pylon somewhere this is true and now single oh he's got no units uh nexus huh yeah, so this is a um, uh, a bit of a Harstam style, but with no Harstam. scout as well. Yeah, yeah, this seems so risky. If Zane was one base roboing, Roscoe would be so well, dead. Actually, my I would anticipate Zane to do something very aggressive. Yeah. Because of this, uh, Zane, okay, I've Zane's seen Zane reactively. Zane. Oh, he's gonna get a nexus though. But he is gonna send these two stalkers across the map. There is gonna be a battery stalker and two sentries out. So. Looks like Zane will be okay. This probe of Roscoe is going to walk into trouble as it's scouting around the map. Mm. That might worry. That might over. Yeah, yeah might that over. might worry Roscoe. Seeing two stalkers in the middle of nowhere there. And you're like, where are those stalkers come Keep from? In where mind, are they Roscoe going? Roscoe still hasn't scouted the other side of the map. As far as he knows, he could be getting one base all end right now. The stalkers aren't going to manage. To get oh. anything done, Robo yeah, so on the way. Zane back in the day used to love Proxy Robo, but uh, we haven't seen him do it in a while. But I wonder if that's like the play, like Ross was trying to bait her. Yep, that's what it looks like, Proxy right? Robo. Roscoe's trying to bait Zane into one basing him, then Roscoe's surprised yeah, yeah. I have an immortal. But unfortunately for Roscoe, yeah, yeah. we see the Colonel and the immortal there. 
Zen's playing this one, I'd say, pretty perfectly. He's just expanding himself, and he's going to be going into Blink, which is going to give him yeah. a lot more mobility and going into the mid game. You can see with just the Chrono Boost usage, um, that 32 to 28 in workers. There's four, five workers difference between Zane and uh, Ross. Roscoe does finally get a hallucination out and will confirm the expansion but, of Zane. But I actually don't mind this for Ross because Ross is a big fan of like uh, the kind of the big plus two immortal mm -hmm. charge lock timings mm -hmm. whilst getting a third base, right? So this, he can go into that and I don't think there's really anything that Zane can do now other than, like he's now scouting. So, okay, Zane's open normally. He's going to take his slight economic loss. Actually, it's five workers. That's surprisingly a lot. Do you I think it's the trademark Roscoe Adept Prism? He it could well be. Adept this is Prism in a PvP. Oh, Zane's really trying to confirm what's going to come out of that. Thing. Oh, uh, did he steal I think he saw it. I think he did as well. Yeah, he must have. He's warping his top. Yeah, yeah. man. Third base on the way. Zane well. on point. And Roscoe is going to send it now. Zane does not want to repeat of yesterday. Uh, you see, I want to trash talk Roscoe's build, but I lost this exact build against <laughs> someone yesterday. And I was like, this is so silly. He's just moving out at a random time with a couple Mate, of mortals and some if, sentries. If you see that it they can go, be hard to hold. If you see that they go for a third, I actually don't mind just doing yeah, this yeah. myself. Roscoe needs to at least cancel the third. He's down in workers quite a lot. He's very committed to this. Three more gates finishing up before a third base of his own. And Zane is supply blocked. Blink's not done yet either. <gasps> oh, fake. Oh. oh, that's an obvious fake. Oh my god, oh, Zane with Zane the, with the Ruthenated Immortal. Oh my god, this, I love it. this just got dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love it. Using Roscoe's own tactics against him. And Zane's like, you think you're the only one who can do this? No, Zane's I don't know still if supply could. blocked, by the way. He's been at 70 for ages right now. This is Roscoe's best chance. More hallucinations coming oh in. Oh my god. Give oh. us more. Zane's Hallucinated Immortal disappears. Nothing but is good real. Force fields go they down. Are beautiful force field. And remember, folks, Roscoe doesn't have Blink here, but Zane does, and that means so much. There is a battery completed here for Zane. Good okay. force fields by Roscoe. Picks off both okay, the third. And there's no way Zane can hold on to this third base, and Roscoe's taking his own third. It's a great attack by Roscoe. Oh, don't don't mess up with the pylons. Get the fucking get the Nexus. Get the Nexus. Zane's gonna be thinking what. What parts of this army are real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many immortals and soldiers are there? A couple of them are going to expire now, but Zane's oh, not even going to Oh, hang on. It. In the main, in the main, there's a... Uh... Okay, the adept didn't get anything done. Wow, Zane actually recalled these stalkers into the main, by the way. He was moving out. I was about to go here. But ah. then he recalled everything back to the main. So Roscoe denying Zane the opportunity to counterattack counter oh, with that prism oh. in the main. And Roscoe's in charge of game number two here. And Zane supply blocked uh, for a century here. Yeah, as he has lost it's been a rough game for Zane so far. Where well, he even accidentally builds a robo there and then cancels Good, it and, and builds build it another. in the natural. <laughs> what? <laughs> it must be a glitch. What is he doing? That's what? Shook. That's a Zane, very weird decision Zane by shook. Zane. And look at this. The Zane oh, that's either. Yeah, yeah, Zane does see it. But well, does he react? Yeah, yes, he, he does. does. Yeah. Talks are going to come in. What's going to be so careful? Like, this. Uh, Prism is really nice to have, but once your opposition has Blink, it's just super risky. The Adepts do actually finish the Shade into the Natural, more probes are going to fall. Hey, getting a 5 probe, five, hey. that's not bad, he gets a Prism out. I mean, Ro Ross is now, oh, he must have moved. Oh, I think Zane's on. forgotten about those probes. Oh, you control F1, control F1. <laughs> control F1. Hey, man. What an F1 abuser. Yeah, I am I am a control F1 abuser, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. When I, how do you deal with Widow Mind Drops? Widow Mind Drops, you, when you Widow Mind Drop, you split everywhere, you split all your probes everywhere, control F1, click back on the minerals. That's how I do it. Man, you're going to lose it when you find out you can draw boxes around units. So. <laughs> but you only want to select the probes to go back to the mineral line. Okay. Well, I just move my army and then do my probes, I guess. But wow. Yeah, so I, okay. Know. I don't use camera hotkeys, so you know I'm not one. Wow. <laughs> you, you you still haven't discovered <laughs> fire yet, Jesus. Right. What kind of barbarian I'm dealing with to my left? Uh, All right. Plus two on the way for Rusko. Gonna give him a nice upgrade advantage. Zane's plus one finishing up, and Zane is gonna try and get back into this game uh, via disruptors, which I think is the play. Yeah, it's a big map. Mm. It's gonna be hard for Ross to push out and actually like kill him yeah so yeah it's gonna i i think in right. general across the series this is a play for zane by the way because 
I've played against Roscoe and Disruptor Walls. It's not his thing. He's not bad at it, but it's uh, definitely not his thing. And yeah. I think if Zayn can get to a scenario where he is Disruptor, so he gets involved in a Disruptor Wall with Roscoe, and it, it's going to be good for Zayn. Yeah, big agree. Though my only thing is that you, you don't know, we have a secret teammate on RD. He, he can't make it to land because he's got a family. <laughs> and uh, our boy Timmy, he does not play Disruptors at all in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And he's pretty good. So we have a lot of talks about uh, how Charles Lot Archon can just fight uh, against Disruptors. Mm -hmm. So we've, uh, Ross has got some experience watching and playing it. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're about this. We're about this. Big scout for Zane here as he sees Roscoe moving out and attacking into disruptors is very, oh, that very observer, difficult. That observer placement is beautiful. That observer placement is beautiful. Is there really only one disruptor out? There is actually only one disruptor out. And Roscoe has an 82 army supply of soon to be plus two units. I actually think the army of Zane kind of sucks for now. He needs more disruptors. Yeah. He needs them quickly. There is a window where oh, plus two. Snipe oh. on. The observer is not. Nice. Don't be a bitch. Fucking go. <laughs> yeah, I think Roscoe needs to send it, but he needs does need to be careful at the same time. Of course, time. This too big is disruptor really hard. and his this attack really fails. Hard. Oh look, he's splitting our, his army half oh to the God. left. More hallucinations. <laughs> two, two angles. Two angles. That's I'm telling you. One more than one. Oh, and the disruptors are kind of stuck in between. Where are they going to go? One shot to the left. That's big connection big on the immortal. But and two more shots. Kind of whiffs uh, there. Right, and now right. the main attack from the south. Can Zane hold the disruptors are out of juice, but the shield battery put But the in super work. battery is now near, now out of juice. Oh out of time. Goodness. I think this Zane's is chaotic. Holding. Yeah, I, I think, think they've is. done it. The disruptors are about to come back online. Slow Zenith's coming in from the north. Zane repelling and the push and yeah. the force fields. Trap the immortals. A big disruptor shot comes in and blows up almost the entirety of Roscoe's army. Oh my Reinforcements God. coming in. There's DTs. There's no observer here. Oh Poor my god, they, the panic DTs! There's no way they can win the game. No, there's no way. Okay, there's there's no way there's no but way the there's cannon no way. has just been taken out. Cannon's gone down. The DTs need to come back in and get as much done as they can. But there's an observer. Is there is not an observer? I think the observer went down here. Oh my god, what a what a chaotic game, man. These these bruisers absolutely slapping each other silly here. Yeah, that's a weird scenario now, because Roscoe's actually on four base with 71 workers, so he actually has a brilliant economy. But but I just don't think he can hold yeah, the push yeah, yeah. unless he can snipe the observer and maybe find some no, magic with actually, the DTs. There's only th or three about to be four disruptors. That's still manageable, I think. What with this? this yeah, yeah, he yeah, has. Yeah. It's 91 army oh, supply against actually. 44. Oh, actually, maybe not. How I think what's going to need the miracle. T. Oh, ten. Ten. oh, maybe, maybe. If Wasco can somehow survive, he'll be in a good spot. But I don't know if he can. Stop shot comes in. And that cannon is going to fall. Super battery used, perhaps a bit prematurely there. Actually, to be fair, I know that you always, you really, you really delay using super battery. Whenever I watch you, I'm like super battery, super battery, super battery, and you're like, okay, the energy's nearly gone. Super battery. Excellent. You're like, That's probably because I'm slow. But. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus three finishing up for Oscar. I mean, look, Oscar's getting back into this. He's just 20 supply behind Man. now with an upgrade advantage. The issue is still these disruptors. Game. This is such an interesting game. But the quality of, I mean, the, it's the disruptors or nothing, man. Oh, what is this army doing? It's in the middle of nowhere for Roscoe. And now <gasps> Zane rotates around and this force base of Roscoe is in a lot of trouble. Roscoe is sending it. He's going across the map. Bro, He's had enough. we're doing it. We're doing base races in game two here. Now, base racing versus disruptors is hard because you have to pay attention to always where your army is. Mm. Oh. But Zane's turning around. I don't know if Zane... Is Zane going to recall? Zane hasn't seen the army yet, so he doesn't oh, know. Zane has... Oh, he, he knows must now. Know. He must have known. That is a super battery... A premature. Ambitious intention. And the fourth base of Zane is going to fall now. He needs to be so careful to stop to get sniped on the right. But here comes the army of Zane. There's a lot of disruptors coming from the south. I don't think Roscoe can take this fight. Unless he can somehow... Dodge all these disruptors oh, oh and DTs from the south. Okay, but the but there's observers an observer. here. There's an all observer. the DTs fall. That's a lot of tenants coming in. Oh my oh god, my god a massive here. disruptor here goes down. And I think Zane's done it. I think Zane's held. Hold on, there is another fourth base being established in the bottom row, but the proxy pylon, pylon is here. No, no. No, it's just too many disruptors, no. Like, there's no way Roscoe can ever kill this army. Oh, that, that's not when good. He, when what he, is this army? Yeah, that, when he had like 20 zealots, if he goes yeah, around, maybe there's a dream, but now... I think you have to recall because he had the... Too many clunky archons. 
Uh, Archons really suck against Disruptors. A and they can't retreat versus Stalkers either. And I think we're watching a giant Embers. Oh, there it is, GG. Oh my god, what Stays. a game. Makes what it 2-0. And I believed for Roscoe there for quite a while. I thought he got himself into a really good position oh, after the opening. I am loving these games though. This is, this is insane. Mm. I'm rooting for Roscoe now. Man, I want to see more games. Roscoe fighting right here. All right, come on, chat. Let's let's see, let's see some see some support. Let's see, show some love. Who says fucking PVP is not a good mirror matchup? Get the fuck out of here. I don't know if I can swear. I, don't, I mean, it's a bit late now, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm swearing a lot. But, uh, just don't tell Bollard. Yeah, yeah, fine. okay, okay. <clears throat> come on, boys, come on. Let's get some passion in let's, the chat. Uh, it's going to be on a three-minute delay anyway. It is. Um, so what is map number three here? I, I, I hope it's no uh, something different. Yeah, uh, I don't want to see these two gate or openings. Or it's boring. Mate. My go to veto is curious, but I don't know yeah. if that's for every other bro. I don't blame you. Or not. Uh, PvP is not that bad, but it's not great enough. All I want to know. Hardwire. All I want to see is um, Hardwire would be a good map for this as well. If if Zane goes for one, some kind of crazy one base um thing. Figaro trying to get in on the observing here? What is Figaro doing? I have no idea. I think. uh. Is Zayn meant to invite Roscoe? Oh, he clicked the wrong person. On yeah, yeah. Figaro. I, and Figaro's AFK. Is there we go. Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Okay, good, good, good. Race check. Race check, Ross. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zane said it as well. Pick a real race, Ross. And he has picked a real race. It is going to be PvP for the third time. I want hardware. to see a cannon rush. The cannon rush will complete my life right now. Do it. There's just no way. There, I agree. There's no way. I don't Neither think I've ever players. seen either of these players cannon rush in a PvP. That would be the one gate expand uh, uh, versus Ross one gate expand and Zane cannon rushes. I would, I'd lose my mind. Oh, All right, right. You can introduce this player. Okay. Well, in the bottom left, he is two zero up, looking for the victory and the revenge on the on his opponent. It is Zane. And in the northeast, playing the Red Dragons in the red, the Protoss from Scotland, Roscoe. Aye, for Scotland we do. Aye, laddie. Aye. <laughs> All right. Any more, and we're racing. Okay. Ah, uh, is it? No, I'm not going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, it's going to be two gates again, I think, and Zane with the Gateway Scout. Yeah, he, he's favouring this. I'd, okay, so I don't like Gateway Scout or, or like 16 Gateway Scout because you don't see anything any faster. Re or like, you can't re... Like, if it, you're being cannon rushed, you find it later if you do this than the other scout because you you check your natural as the pylon goes down with the other scout. Mm. So I don't know. I don't like this for cannon rush. I, maybe properly 2 gate forge or something. I don't know. But anyway, Zane, Zane favours it currently. I, I prefer this against the cannon rush, to be honest. Okay, fair enough. Because if you send your probe out, often you can intercept your opponent. You just see your opponent's probe and moving you, out. So and if, yeah, yeah, and if, it, okay. if your probe hasn't made it halfway across the map, you know they their probe was before even the before they get yes. yeah. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. What is this little lad doing? For uh Hidden pile oh, from no. Roscoe. Ross, and this don't looks like do a it. Don't do it. One time for the boys. Oh, this. I actually think he should build the second. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, he can't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'd say he should build the second pile on at home so Zane doesn't go looking around the map. Is he going to open is unit list run. into a hidden nexus? My heart can only take so much. He's, got, he's blowing money. Thing. He's going to do it. No, he's no, not. No, he's okay. not. He's baiting us. Two adepts and warp gate. Oh, my lord. Is the probe? To, yeah. I wonder if it's because the probe saw... I don't know. I can't read too deep into it. Okay, so Zane's looking around because he saw no second pylon in the main. But this is a that's a class. Oh, and he's oh, gonna scout it. Roscoe. Roscoe. Okay, but, but as long as he doesn't build the nexus now, if he builds the nexus now and Zane scouts it, it's a disaster. I say. Oh, seconds before. Oh disaster. my goodness. Okay, the good news is the good news with that is that he Zane, can cancel it. Yeah. Well, Zane could have turned around quick enough, and if Ross didn't notice it, then. Thing. Oh, Ross. Ross is playing some memes here. 
He's trying to get his adepts across the map. Ross is throwing everything at the kitchen. Oh. Okay, getting a probe, delaying the expansion of Zane is something. I, I actually think uh, Zane can just like keep up, pump and stalkers and go. There's Ooh, no pile on the low ground. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two laps are going to make their way back. Two more stalkers on the way. This probe is taking oh, on the, the pylon. Ah, the probe is getting the pylon. Okay. I mean, all things considered, I don't hate it for Oscar. He's got early expansion yeah, on the way. It looks I mean, like he's going to be safe. I think we're you, going to make it pretty even. If you snapshot the like the four oh, minute mark, supply block like, again. Man, man, both both these players are getting a little tired, you know. <laughs> these adepts lose track of that probe. Won't be able oh, to pick them up. Oh, pain. These two oh, stalkers won't be able to get anything done. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's ambitious. Oh, Zane a little late with the pullback there. Take some hull damage. Is he gonna lose that stalker? No, no. they're doing enforcements for Zane. And we'll also go perhaps oh, to be Zane careful. can't do maths. Four beats three. Can't believe. Quick math. But then saying that, you might be worried about this. Can these adepts just one time be let in by Zane? Is Zane gonna have mercy? Yes, he is. What the Zane hell? The adepts just come straight in. Both of them finish up. Okay. And now Ross is gonna get serious damage. He done. needs a lot. He needs a lot still. Oh, good. Okay, four, five. I can't believe Zane didn't wall off there because he saw these adepts coming with these stalkers in the middle of the map. Maybe he just thought he could kill the adepts before. But six workers go down and now Ross goes oh! ahead. But now there's adepts of Zane. There's nothing at the wall. There is nothing at the wall. And it's a disaster for Oscar. He's gone from being up Absolute seven workers. Slugfest to slugfest there. Good force fields. Good second force fields. We like that. Okay. Okay. Only losing three workers. It could have been worse. Could Good crisis worse. management. Warp Prism on the way for Oscar. He loves his Prism and the Adepts. Uh, and yeah. this game, I like it a lot more because it's way before Blink. Yes, yes. And that's going to make it much harder for Zane to close down. Agreed, agreed. Plus one on the way for Oscar as well. He's ahead in this game, there's no doubt. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But Blink could change everything and there's no Twilight for Roscoe. But once again, yeah, 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 favoring that Immortal style over that fast Twilight. So, uh, yeah, he's going to use the Prism to try and keep Zane back. And then when, uh, like, he'll get a Twilight Council for plus two and then just get charged when he can afford it. Mm. Here is the Prism. One of the definite so far. Expect to see more added to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Zane in position? Not really. All his units are at the natural. Oh, he, he's going to warp in three more adepts and then uh, and then put them in the prism yeah. and go. It's not the end of the world for Zane if he loses a couple workers. He does have a much faster third on the way, but he does not have vision of this corner oh. of the base. You three adepts get loaded it. off. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, star the star sense. sense! That's just star sense from Zane. Happens to send three stalkers over at the same time, but the stalkers. Say we don't want those adepts. We're going for the prison. Oh, they won't it's find a massacre! It. Oh, actually, there's only four. four. But it's still a lot. Oh, Zane. Oh. oh, he's gonna let the adepts back in. Oh no. Oh no. More probes are gonna fall. Surely at least eight are gonna go down. Could be a ninth if you target out. that one. Oh, there's a low health oh, one. He could have targeted. How dare you, Oscar? You're a bad man. This is good. Plus two on the way now as well. Twilight is finished, he needs to start that blink. He doesn't want to be too far behind or charge or whatever he's going for. But he's got the upgrade advantage, he's got the worker advantage, he's got a supply block, that's not great. This, Yeah, yeah, there, there are problems. <laughs> there are problems, but they'll be solved. <laughs> third base finish now for but Zane. The, the third base isn't do? that fast now, right? But, like, it's not mining, and Ross's third is coming up. And Ross is about to be done. Whoa! Oh, uh, that was a hallucinating Mason. immortal. I yeah. just, I was like, there's no way Zane just rallied an immortal across the map. Definitely Man. not, considering he doesn't have a robo. So That's going down now. These players are playing with drugs. What's this coming across <laughs> the... Yeah, so many hallucinations. Um, seven stalkers and an ostrich. The Karak, in fact. The seven stalker hits rock, but the... Uh, there's Ross two is, immortals and a prison. Uh, Ross has uh, got a great obs placement, so he sees this yep. coming and is able to rotate yeah, around. Nicely done. And there's obs prevents uh, a surprise blink yeah, into yeah, the main yeah. as well. Because look, he now knows that like, yeah, Zane is actually going to commit to this. Destination. He cannot blink up here, Zane. Three immortals now. Oh, fourth about is to there pop. A okay. 
This is where a random third, fucking maybe. sentry comes oh. in, you know? Cannon the battery is going to do a good job of holding on. Super battery used, and this cannon oh, wow. eventually dies. Oh, I would say the, the prison was at risk for a second there. Wow, look at this. Six gates and charge for yeah. Roscoe. 53 workers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's build a couple more workers. Can Zane hold this attack? No, plus this, two charge. This is the big plus gate, two. Four immortal. It's gonna be tough for and Zane. One furious Scotsman <laughs> looking to take a map. One hell of a Scottish stream <laughs> on one side of these computers. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going for the okay, yeah, yeah. Won't get it. That was probably yeah, yeah probably for the best. That's the sort of situation where I blink on top and just kill the prism, and then I'm like, oh, this is a bad decision. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Roscoe needs to send it now. Yeah, he needs to go. Oh, he's getting he the Templar Archive. Two. Let's go. He wants to spend his gas. That, that, that slows it might slow him down a bit, but it might be worth it. Oh, he hasn't seen the third. From no, I mean, you can assume, right? But yeah, I really yeah. think Roscoe should just send it now. He has two upgrades. This is the only time in the game where he's going to have this nice upgrade lead and an army advantage. Like, his army crushes Zane's right now. Yeah, absolutely. But once these disruptors start getting out for Zane, that could all change. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why he's hesitating. Oh! He's October is going to die. Oh! Zane's died. Zane died. Okay, and the stalker goes oh, down. Blah, blah, blah. Zane tries to get the prison and it doesn't okay. quite work. But this is it. Now you're so far across the map, you just go. You just go. Yeah. Because the stalker can't backstab you. So this is fine. How is Zane ever going to defend against these four immortals unless he hits them with disruptors? He's not. How many right. disruptors are there? Just uh, one for now. A yeah, second yeah. one on the way. I've clicked the button. Press there. E. Press E. There you go. <laughs> panicky. Panicky. Go, Roscoe. Send it to your depths in the third base. There is a uh, cannon here. Cannon's going to help, but uh, whole position is going to be good uh, for this. Look at this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And Ross loves fighting between the natural and the third. Uh -huh. But look at this observer. Oh, observer the... Perfectly patient. Oh. He feeds the zealots here. He's not reacting yet. I wonder if that's because he thinks it's just one Death zealot or... comes into the natural. Okay, well, it's a lot more than one zealot. And Zane's about oh. to see that now. Disruptor in the natural here is going to fire. Good pullback okay, from yeah, Moscow. Yeah. Only loses two zealots. Yeah, that's... Uh, the Three quickly out of out now. Second shot is decent. Hits a couple of immortals in that shot. Will completely oh, whiz the great split whiz. for Moscow. The Remember. stalkers blink back, they can't fight. Where's Super Barry going to be? Super Yo Barry used at the natural. He should disengage at the natural, but it looks he like he's really should focus. disengage from the natural. Oh, but he's he force fielded. Oh, oh, what a huge disruptor hit. This super battery does finally fall. There's two cannons and oh, a battery here. Oh, but the army's being split. His attention is being split so much, but yeah. the, there's so much damage. Oh, the immortals right. get oh. picked up into the main. Oh. He snipes the immortal, the, the disruptor, in fact. Snipes the other one as well. Big set at warping. It's going to mean Roscoe oh. needs to pick these up. Oh, one got trapped. It couldn't make it to the prison oh in time. Oh, my goodness. This is such a chaotic fight. Is Roscoe doing it? 73 army supply and plus two upgrades. But there's still a disruptor alive there. But there's so much army. The natural's oh my God, been cleaned out. so much army. 23, 28 workers I are going down. I think Roscoe's done I it. We're going to game number it. four. Oh, my goodness me. Is this the start of, of the a glorious comeback? Sweep. Oh! Archons go down, but this is it, folks. G there we G. go. G there G it G. is. Roscoe gets one on the board, and it's 2 1. Oh, what a series. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is a really cool series of PvP here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's such a slugfest. I mm, love it. It is. It really is. And Roscoe is playing some seriously good PvP to not only keep up with Zane, but get himself in pretty commanding positions yeah, in each yeah. of these games. This is, it feels like a real like information war as well, right? Because I feel yeah. like most of the time when one has a clear advantage, they're just not sure how much of an advantage they have. Yep. So it's hard, so hard to push it. Oh, but we're not going to hardwire. We just played that map. We just played hardwire. Saying so trying to invite us to a lobby to hardwire. Maybe maybe <laughs> his brain's a bit frazzled right now. He's inviting me to hardwire <laughs> again. <laughs> They're remaking on Hardwire. Man, there were so many chats. <laughs> yeah. Same map? Where, where, where? Yeah. We did just play this map. Yeah, I'm yeah, not 100, going crazy. 100%. Oh, yes, very true. <laughs> both players <laughs> said ready. <laughs> uh, just say we just played this map, and then they both realized okay, Berlingrad is the next map. These players are How so at each other's throat. <laughs>
They have both at each other's throats. I have absolutely oh. no idea how both players didn't realise they were saying ready for the wrong lobby. Zane has now loaded up Berlingrad. <laughs> Cycling through I, 10 I, chats to say ready. Yeah, there. so I click on the all chat part uh, and do the drop oh, down. Okay. That's how I do it. All right, these players are not waiting around. Not loading to another map. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go into game four. This is gonna be right. Yes. Yes. Delightful. Quite. Quite. Burning ground. Another short map. No yeah. ramp at the natural. I've got to say, I would say this is not a uh, one gate expand map, right? The, the and oh. here we are in the south oh, east. Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna in the green. Uh, in the. Uh, what are we doing here? I, I flipped it so the colours matter. You crazy individual. Uh, it has to be done. It in has to be done. In the southeast of Berlingrad, in the green, playing Protoss. It's Zane. Mm -hmm. Wow. Booze from the CSGO <laughs> lot for that, apparently. <laughs> And it's my boy Roscoe spawning in the top left, representing Red Dragons, trying to take another map and bring this to the ace game. It is Roscoe. I realize I said his name in the introduction, but you know what? It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I zoomed in twice. Don't worry. So another two-gate opening from both players. Yeah, but we I think we determined by uh, elimination that the fifth map is going to have to be, be a natural ramp map. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be if we get there, which I would love to see. We are getting some cracker series this here great, at yeah, this yeah. epic line, both yesterday and today. Mate, we've had games going all the way. We've had series going all the way. It's been good. It's been some uh, good Starcraft. Players slapping each other around, really trying to like, you know, mess each other up. I love it. But so far, so standard. Yeah. Remember that. By the way, can we can we? Just, Rewind a second. That that last game started with Ross proxy nexus. <laughs> and what do you think he's doing here? Oh, he's no, just oh, searching. No. I thought he was going to proxy a nexus at six o'clock one time. Wow! And look oh, at his both players scouting the map. <gasps> oh, Zane actually with a hidden pile on. Do you know what? Guy. I I have been surprised that Zane hasn't uh, proxy stargated yet. I kind of just feel mm -hmm. like he was going to do that, but then he hasn't done it yet. And for game four, might be the game. Oh. Just a drone. Looks like he's just going. It doesn't look like he's going to build anything out of that proxy. Yeah, that, this is like the rocks proxy by mm. on, right? Roscoe is going to scout this game. He didn't scout last game, but he will come in. See no pylon in the main base. And I feel like it's kind of agreed upon that in PvP, if you see this, not always, but it's quite likely your opponent's proxy stargating. Yes, yeah. Or maybe a proxy robo. Or it's a fake proxy, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or of course it's a fake proxy, but you want to be more concerned about what it could be than rather what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's, you know? that's true, that's true. Wow. Roscoe is robo. roboing one base in front of Sane's face. That is actually Just so throws bold. It down. Do you think oh, he ever cancels it? No. The probe is on the map. It is searching. It's oh, he's not going to find it. Not with that path. Two stalkers coming out. But again, like the Such only, an early robo. Yeah, the only good news is that because there's no actual threat, like this might end up working out well. I kind of like this really early robo by Roscoe because I, I reckon Roscoe is thinking Zane might be proxy <gasps> roboing and this robo would shut it okay. down. Okay, I'm calling it now. Prism speed. <laughs> Prism speed? Prism speed. Colossus drop. I don't care. Imagine. <laughs> Disrupt the drop would make more sense. Just a very fast immortal. Okay, well, that it makes is more three sense. gate robo. By Roscoe. Roscoe oh, he doesn't see final. it. That would have been nice for Roscoe's peace of mind just to see that pylon. The, the only good thing is that the, the only good thing is that, that I don't think that. Oh my god, he put a proxy pylon down below the other proxy pylon. Bro, scouted the whole map. He scouted that location Bruh. first. I don't think he's going to go back. Oh, there. But, but, oh, but he sees the probe coming in from a very odd angle. <laughs> no, you can't be doing this to me, Zane. Did Zane just not see that? I, I guess not. He sends a hallucination out. Okay, this hallucination, is it going to see the immortal? Oh my god. Oh it's not. My but it is going to come into the base and see no expansion. Zane flabbergasting oh. himself. Zane, has, Zane only has one battery. He needs a second battery, I think. He's got force field, though. Well, he's got a decent amount of force field. I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, I because think he is. With Zane's control, I think he will there. be. A second battery does not go down. Blink on the way. Is Zane survives till Blink? 
I yeah, think he will win this game. I mean, th th w this army does not look very good. No, it really doesn't. Oh, okay. But it's <gasps> not over. If he, oh, if he knew what we knew, he could fly into the main with that, get the stalkers yeah. to walk up, and then force field the ramp. I mean, with in. a warp in of stalkers here, what's going on? Oh, it's going to be quite scary. He's going to for the main. Zane sees the prism come in here. Oh, he, oh, already, he already has two hatched. stalkers here. Force field goes down at the top of the main ramp, and the prism falls. Oh, uh, prism falls. And now the bad. army is stuck outside. These two stalkers and the sentry in the main are stuck. They will trade out pretty decently, it looks like. But uh, this is the disaster for Wasco. Yeah, Force fields go down. The and immortal and the super battery. The immortal will fall. And Zane has just run a masterclass on how to defend the one base robo here, really. Absolutely yeah. crushing it. GG, well played. Good, good luck. luck. Zane takes it. After an exhausting series. That was a fun That DVP. was so good, though. Yeah, yeah, that's well played by Zane. He'll go on to face his brother Razor Raza in the lower lower bracket final, final. for yeah. a spot in the grand final against the Zerg player Figaro. So that's it from us. We'll be back Man. probably in the next thirty minutes. I don't know how long. Yeah, I don't know how. Uh, yeah, Zane might need a bit of a breather Zane after that series. Like that. Uh, with Zane against Raza. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And we will see you next time. Next time. Oh, hang on.